Hey guys and welcome to the December Paint Threat Highlight Reel. Now, apologies, it's a month late because I got called out to duty. Well, called out to work. Uh, went over to you know New York in the snow and it was cold. And then the day I had to go to Atlanta, they had that storm, you know, where everyone was sliding off the road. It was pretty cool. Me and Sergio, Flawless Snake, uh, one of the WGC producers, you know, sitting in our van and we we're just moving along, going, you know, check out a game store, which was closed. Uh, we didn't think to call ahead. Uh, anyway, so it was snowing and, you know, we're driving and the car goes like this. All right, while well, it's driving, all right? Just like this, just a few times. And I kept thinking he was messing with me because I was kind of sort of freaking out because, you know, cars don't move that way in California unless the ground is shaking, you know. Anyway, so there's a lot to this video. Uh, it's going to be a long one because we had that special, you know, 12 days of Christmas type of thing. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, who cares? Just pretend, all right, for all you naysayers out there about Christmas, destroying the wonderful holiday that we grew up with. Well, anyways, we have 12 prizes to give out, so we're going to go ahead and do that and do some random drawings on that. We had about, I believe, 28 people that finished their threats, which is really good because it was, you know, a month of holidays, as well as, I don't know, a total of... I think like 35 people that entered and put in a threat. So that was pretty good. So let's get things uh, moving on. Here's the highlight reels for December.
And great job, guys. Really loving it. And I'm really glad that you guys are actually finishing stuff and you guys are coming back and, you know, joining in all the fun and stuff like this. Um, so our guest speaker for this month is awesome paint job. Leslie Bursley. Leslie. Lester Bursley. I call him Leslie. Oh, man. Anyways, here he is. Hey, guys. It's Les. We're going to be doing our WGC December paint threats. There was a lot of them. And thank you, everyone, who uh, submitted. And um, I'm just going to pick out, like, four that stood out to me for whatever reasons. And I'll explain those. So let's get to it. So the first one, I would say, is GT Techniques, his uh, Orc Battle Wagon. Now, I personally like the yellow orcs just because from a gaming standpoint I like seeing them on the table it's just you know it's a yellow is a bright color and a lot of people have difficulty painting it which is you know it's actually pretty easy as long as you start primed white you can put any of those light colors on in usually one shot even if you're doing it by brush um, and uh, you know the weathering that he did on it it's great I like the, uh, I mean, yellow, it just works together, you know, you have yellow and then if you use a, like a, a rusty brown color, like it, the, the redness of that rust color kind of brings out the yellow and the checkers, I mean, having done checkers, it's a pain and he has them all over the place, so that's good. And um, as soon as I saw the bundle of pictures for December, that one stood out to me big time and did a really good job so I appreciate that one now let's see our second one will be of course and I had to choose this because it was the first ultramarines models that I saw and they're not painted bad at all they're really done well and this is magic storms ultramarine scouts and I know a lot of people hate ultramarines stuff like that I mean that's you see them everywhere they have the most artwork and because of the artwork and stuff is usually why I like them. And um, I just think it's a they're a really clean army. I mean, you see the blue and gold and things like that. And with the scouts, they're different because you don't get to play with the gold as much. You just kind of have to work with the blue and, you know, pick your parts that you're going to do either white or black. And he pretty much did it. And the sniper models, I like them. Uh, he, you know put some pig it looks like pigment he put on the cloaks and stuff so that kind of uh puts them into their their bases like um if you have really dusty ground or or dirt and stuff putting that little bit of weathering to me kind of puts the model in the scene you know um and uh yeah they look really sharp so i dig them and yeah i i like the snipers <laughs> They're, they're like the coolest models. Them and the uh, the Elder Rangers, I really like those. Next, we have Valander and his Wild West Exodus Warrior Nation guys. These guys popped out because it's you know he did the skin, he did the the um, leather. I think it's sort of wearing that's kind of that yellowish bone color, but he black lined, and I can see like the little bits of black that kind of made it. Uh, really sharp and kind of HD to me and I mean the faces especially the guy that's standing up front like it, they look fantastic and uh, it makes me really want to get Wild West Exodus models and those bases like those look like miniature plinths to me but um, I like the uh, the desert basing with the the off-color lichen kind of looks like a like bone of something that was left out in the desert and then he's got the little tufts of grass so overall the model is just really well done or the models the the whole group of them so yeah that i mean I, i'm looking at every piece of it and every you know it just it, it goes well together i really like it and our last guy would be yao matza his warlock warcaster and necromancer it's uh, this guy on a on a mount, and um, me, I I really like earth tones, and it's really easy to take a big model like this and to just do the brightest colors you want to do and just make it make it pop. But um, I have a 
little spot in my heart for people that go with, you know, like khaki colors, bones and brown or uh, like olive drab greens and kind of work in there. Um, that's why I like the uh, the mercenary war jacks and stuff when they're painted green. And uh, he has both of them. He's got the olive green just to to separate some of the details. And then he's got the uh, the bone everywhere else, and it looks good. And then on the base itself, it's totally different color. It's grays, and then you have a little bit of a uh, of magenta and things like that. So it's I, I don't know. I've never even seen this model, and it looks like it would be incredibly fun to paint. So those are my choices. I mean, it's not really technical. I you know I I'm not here to say anyone's wrong or or anyone could have uh, done a certain way I just kind of picked the models that I liked and those were the four so see you guys in the next paint threat I'll be watching and maybe I'll participate in the paint threat myself you know so anyways uh, check out the WGC and I will catch you guys later and thanks for that Leslie sorry <laughs> less sorry so let's get on to the prize random drawings. Now we have 12 prizes and I just randomly picked this up. I went over to JJ's and picked up a bunch of stuff as well as some stuff I had on the shelf that I've been meaning to give away and it's about time to you know, clear some of this stuff out. So here's what I have. 28 names in this cup here. I have 12 prizes in this cup here. All right, so we'll do this little random, you know, shake them up, uh, boogie, boogie, woogie type of thing. And, all the prizes sitting right here. I'll show you what you would win, and uh, what you would win, anyways. So let's shake up the name, shall we? All right. So our first random prize winner, and I don't know if you can call it winner. How about let's just say, uh, well, let's just call it winner. Just make it easy. Is the gentleman eighty one? Congratulations, dude. Awesome job on your threat as well. And oh, what prize did you win? Let's see. All right. First prize coming out the door is. For gentleman 81 is the Malifaux Children of December uh, starter set. Now a bunch of stuff I picked because I thought it'd be cool to paint as well as um, fun games. Okay, so gentleman 81 or the gentleman 81, you won the December Children of December Malifaux starter uh, crew set. It's really cool too. You'll have fun painting that. I'm pretty sure. Okay, second name. Here we go. And we have Banish Enclaves. Again, another another great uh, threat there. We finished it up. Now let's see what you've won. Uh, let's shake it up a little bit. All right. Here we go. Second prize out the door is Sorry, I made these into a little ball so they roll a little better. Because I don't have one of those wind thingies that you know blows the, you know everything around. Alright, here we go. Super Munchkin! Alright, you got the Super Munchkin set. It's a great game and I hear a lot of things about it and it's fun. So there you go. You're gonna have countless nights of fun with that and with whoever you're playing it with. Alright, third name. Coming out the door is... Dee, 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 dee. I should really do the trumpet at right before I unfold the whole thing, right? So you guys don't have to sit here watching me unfold. It is Rusty Dice. Congratulations, Rusty Dice. Let's see what he's got here. All right, Rusty Dice, what you win, buddy? Let's take a look. Sorry, I'm looking over here because I'm checking the sound because I keep... Getting scared that it's going to shut off. All right, here we go. Rusty Dice, you have one Star Wars X-Wing starter set. That's it. Right here. I hope you haven't got started in this yet, but uh, here it is. You won the star, uh, X-Wing starter set, and you're going to have fun with that if you're not already playing, and hopefully you're not because you just got into it. All right, next name out of the cup. Out of the door, the fourth name here. We have... Bothdar. Bothdar. I love that username. Bothdar. Congratulations, Bothdar. Let's see what you got. Bothdar. Bothdar. Hello, my name is Bothdar. What has Bothdar won today? All right, let's see here. Bothdar, you have gotten the Savage Ford Minis, the Gargoyle. All right, this is going to be fun to paint here. 
This is uh, by uh, the Savage Forge, and if you haven't, oh sorry, Savage Forge Mini, if you haven't, uh, if you don't know who he is, he's Dennis, he does awesome sculpting, and he's a really good painter, and he's got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, this is when he was doing the stuff with Ichiban painting. Um, the stuff's been uh, sitting there um, on the shelf to give away for prizes and never got to run to it. So, you got this little baby here to paint. That's going to be fun to paint, isn't it? Right? All right. So, anyways, uh, also check out uh, the Savage Mini. I got links coming up on the screen somewhere around here. Okay. All right. Here we go. Second name. No, not second name. Fifth name? Fifth name. Last one was Bullstar. Bullstar. Sounds like something you like. Eight wrongs come back up. Star. Sorry, dude, man. I just messed with your name. All right, here we go. Monkey Joe. All right, buddy. Monkey Joe, our happy Monkey Joe. All right, what do we got for Monkey Joe today? Monkey Joe. Monkey Joe. Monkey Joe's got. All right, the Savage Ford Mini's the mean one. All right, you got another. Here's another Savage Ford Mini uh, sculptor sculpture and this one's gonna be fun to paint as well now these are busts so these are like well you know you see how big the box is right and it's about the size of this picture here I think a little bigger okay so that's Monkey Joe congrats Monkey Joe let's see who else we got coming out of the door here plenty more prizes or whatever we have to think of some if someone could come up with a clever name other than winning and prizes maybe call it something else okay Oh, congratulations, Loader. Loader. We got both star and Loader. Yeah, I love the uh, usernames on our website here. Loader. Let's see what Loader's got. Loader and Boothstar. You kind of Boothstar, then go for the Loader. All right, here we go. Uh, you've got Zombie Dice. Zombie Dice, the game. Ta-da! Well, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this, and I believe if you look on uh, Wargamer Girl's channel, she actually did a video on this. That's gonna be fun. If you don't know what it is, go check out uh, Miranda's video on that one. All right. At least I think that's the one that she did. I can't remember. All right, here we go. The next name, and I've lost count now, so I'm just gonna keep picking until there's no more prizes. Maybe we'll have another clever username like Buffstar and Loader. Oh, actually, this is pretty original. Magic Storm. Well, maybe not original. Okay. Magic Storm. Congratulations, Magic Storm. And what do we have for you for prizes? <laughs> All right, Magic Storm. What do you got? What do you got? There's some couple awesome stuff here that we haven't run away. They're awesome. They're all fun. Another fun to play or fun to paint. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, so who is that? Storm? Magic Storm. Yeah, the Convergence of Crisis Battle Group. Ta da! If you haven't gotten a war machine or if you're not a player, these are going to be fun to paint. Just, just to paint. All right? Just to paint. Okay, next name. Out of the cup. Shake it up. Shake it up. All right, here we go. What do we have? Adam Smasher. Adam. Adam from S Tabletop Minion. What you got, buddy? Let's see. All righty. Adam, congratulations. You got the Crix Seether. Crix Seether. It's a uh, Crix Warjack. I don't know if you play Crix, buddy. Maybe time to get into it. Another game that you can't afford, right? None, none of us could afford. By the way, War Machine, I was looking at the shelf and stuff. Damn, that stuff got expensive. Remember when it used to be cheap. All right. Well, maybe it was never cheap. But anyways, here we go. Next name. Next name out of the pot is... What do we got? What do we got? We got... Oh, here we go. Alpha Apocalypse. Alpha Apocalypse. Sorry. Alpha Apocalypse. Congratulations, Alpha Apocalypse. It looks like there's four prizes left, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know if we call it prizes because we're not actually doing it to win. We're doing it to complete our stuff. So maybe it's rewards. We'll call it rewards. Like when we'll have a rewards card and everything. Uh, so. 
All right, here we go. Alpha Apocalypse, you have won the Savage 4 Mini The Zombie. Another Savage 4 Mini bust here, The Zombie. Really awesome stuff here. And again, check out Dennis' stuff. He's making stuff every day. Every day I see him coming up with new sculptures and stuff. I'm not sure if he's selling half of them, some of them are commissions, whatever. It does good stuff. Good videos too. All right, here we go. I was obligated to say that. Good videos too. No, actually he does good video. All right, here we go. Uh, next name out the door is Neil Jarlax. Dude, this guy rocks, man. He does some really good stuff with his, uh, you know, uh, paint threats. All right, Neil Jarlax. What have you got, Leo, Neil Jarlax? Because there's a big one here, and I'm surprised it hasn't been picked up yet. Well, it's all random. So let's see what happens. There's a really good one here. So I got it, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to keep this for myself, but nah, you know. Can't do that it's for the prize or rewards pool. All right, Neil Jax, you got the Chaos Terminator Lord. Do, 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 do. From Citadel. And this should be plastic because I made sure not to pick up anything, um, uh, you know, fine cast. Well, if it was fine cast, it's broken now. Sorry, buddy. But anyway, see, let's see what you can do with this baby. I don't know if you play Chaos. If not, it's going to be fun to paint. Or maybe give it to a friend. I don't know. It's yours, man. All right, here we go. Two more left. One of them was a big one. One of them was a big one. All right, who's got who? Who's got what? What got what? Who is this? Family of Gamer 777. All right. Well, the coach has got it. What has the coach got out of the two prizes? Looks like the Infinity Rifleman. Uh oh, coach. Sounds like you're going to go ahead and get into another game. I think you talked about getting into Infinity. Maybe, uh, what is this? Uh, Adriana would be your uh, faction there. Okay, so uh, this is the 45th Highlander Rifles Galawegian Adriana crew. Well, it's part of you know, something that gets you started, I guess. Not really the starter, it's more like an expansion, I think. I don't, know, I don't know much about Adriana. Okay, so the last person, I don't have to pick the cup, is actually the prize that I really like is this that I try to keep for myself, but convince myself not to. It is the Dark Elves uh, Kurbadis, or Ka, 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 a big effing dragon, all right, with a lot of heads, all right? Whatever you want to call it, we'll leave that right here. Okay, and then, let's see, out of all these names, who's going to get this baby? Uh, uh, let's really shake it up. <sighs> all right. see a lot of little rolling dough papers in here. All right, shuffle all around. All right, so who wins the big effing dragon with lots of heads? All right, here we go. Oh, oh, Black Wraith. Black Wraith, congratulations, buddy. You got the big effing dragon with lots of heads. Okay, so um, just check your mail, guys. I will mail you guys, uh, you know, for those that have uh, got a reward, random reward. Um, so check it in the next day or so, and I'll get the email out to you, get your addresses, and get these out to you. So that's it, guys. Thank you for joining me on this new, or December highlight reel. Uh, remember, uh, February is going on now. Remember, we did a time warp thing where we kind of jumped ahead of the month because I, I was late. Uh, and it is sponsored by CMON. And the, we'll do a random uh, drawing for a, uh, a rule book of Dark Age as well as a choice of your starter army set. So uh, there you go. So make sure you get that in. You got to tell the temp to get your thread in and uh, get going on it and show us what you can do. Anyways, thanks for joining us. Uh, remember, like if you like, sub if you haven't, share where you can, and favorite if you love me. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.